Hey, hey, it's your host Sauce from the Viral Kingdom and welcome to another NFT tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create and deploy a smart contract in the easiest way possible that's going to take you 10 minutes or less now before we do get into that if you could go down and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if, if you like nft related content as i've been posting a ton of nft related tutorials and videos that can help you grow your very own nft project or just help you out in general we're getting really close to 100,000 subscribers and i've been wanting to hit that goal for quite some time now so if you could subscribe to the channel it would mean a ton with that out of the way let's get right into this tutorial where we're going to be creating a nft smart contract which will be turned into a minting button that you can use on your website this will require absolutely no coding efforts at all and is going to be incredibly easy to do now if you're interested in actually coding your own smart contract and really everything associated with developing your nft project i actually have an nft course which will be linked down below where i go through every step of like marketing on every social media building your website building a smart contract pretty much every single aspect in the nft project building cycle i include within this course so that will be linked down below we're getting really close to 100 plus course takers so i can't thank you all enough for that also if you haven't already created your own website to add a minting button to i'll have a video linked down below on how you can make your own website it's pretty basic but in my course i go really in depth on how to develop the best possible nft website once again everything's linked down below so in today's tutorial we're going to be using this fantastic program called zerocodenft.com it will be linked down in the description essentially what zero code is is it's a fantastic application where they provide you with a minting page and they give you direct technical support to help set it up and then on your launch date they'll be there with you so that everything goes smoothly there's some amazing features that you can add to your minting button like a delayed reveal airdrops different royalty splits whitelists and a whole bunch more and all of this will be done in the easiest way ever through the zero code nft dashboard so let's get started by clicking the get started for free button on their website now you're going to be asked to log in with your metamask you can choose to skip this but we're just going to log in to make the process easier now once you log in with your metamask you'll get a register page like so enter in the following information and then for the referral code make sure to type in code viral it helps me out and it helps you out so please do use that code once that's done you can select register and you'll be on your account the next thing you want to do is go to the wizard or you can click create one and it'll bring you to the wizard page regardless now you have the different contract types that you can choose through the majority of nfts are under the ar RC721 contract type and that's the one we're going to be using for this tutorial it's what i would recommend then there is a massive selection of different blockchains that you can choose from so like solana polygon binance phantom ethereum avalanche just so many options which i really love now we're going to be choosing ethereum just for the sake of this tutorial as i feel majority of you guys are going to be deploying on this blockchain however there are these select options that you can choose we'll do ethereum now the next page is going to be the general information so for the name obviously you are going to type in the name of your project so i'm just going to call mine the wobbles if you're part of my nft course you'll know what i'm talking about it's a project i've been working on that's going to be releasing sometime in the june time frame we'll set the mint price to 0 0.01 and this is in ethereum so do keep that that in mind we'll have the max amount of nfts that someone can mint and we'll set that to one this is just because i don't want bots to come in and mint out basically every single nft and then the max amount of nfts per person we will set that to 10. now for the symbol you want to make the symbol similar to the name so as you can see the example is base which stands for board ape yacht club ours is just called the wobbles so we could do 
do a symbol like WBBL, you get the idea. For the collection size, we'll just do a really tiny one as this is a tutorial and I'm not actually going to be deploying this collection. So we'll just set it to 99. Now the last piece of information that you need to get, and this is probably one of the hardest things to do in this tutorial, and it's realistically not hard at all, is uploading the IPFS metadata URL. Now you can do this by going to IPFS.io and then going to install and installing it on your desktop. Once the program is installed, it should look something like this. And then you can go to files and import then go to folder and find the metadata JSON files that you have for your project. If you don't know what the metadata JSON file is, I highly suggest going over my auto generation art video where I show you how to get that metadata. So we'll select upload and then we'll select share link and copy. Now those JSON files will be uploaded to our IPFS and we can paste that link into the IPFS metadata URL url and go to next now here is the delayed reveal and basically what a delayed reveal is is projects like to wait like let's say a week before revealing an nft i'm sure you know what i'm talking about there's lots of marketing advantages to doing this so if you wanted to have a delayed reveal all you'd have to do is the exact same process, go to IPFS, import a folder, and then import the delayed reveal metadata. So basically it'd just be metadata that's blank, that doesn't have any real characteristics as you don't want it revealed until the actual reveal of the entire collection. So that's how that works for the sake of this tutorial. I'm not going to choose that, but we are going to do the whitelist option. So I'm going to set the price of the whitelist to be 0.0. .0 zero nine it's important to keep your whitelist a cheaper price than your pre-sale price just because well it's the whitelist you want them to be getting a better deal and the max nfts for whitelisted people will be one obviously you can change these numbers you're not going to use the exact ones i'm using for this tutorial you get the idea and lastly on this page you're going to enter in your wallet address and this is where the funds of the sale will be split into obviously if you're working with a team and let's say the artist wants to get paid 10 percent, and that's the deal you you have worked out well then you would add his wallet address right here set that to 10 and then set yours to 90 percent so that's pretty self-explanatory but we're going to take that off as it will just be my wallet that will be taking all of the revenue for this tutorial now on the marketplace this is where you can choose where you want your nfts to show up i suggest using OpenSea, and then here is going to be the OpenSea information so for the collection name we already stated it would be called the wobbles the project url this is where i would link your website and if you don't have a website maybe link your twitter so i don't have a website for this project because it's just not created yet we'll just call it wobbles.com and then the royalties you can set a max percentage for the royalties to 10 percent i go over in my nft course the best percentage to set your royalties to we'll just do 10 percent for the sake of this video but it's definitely not what you want to be setting your nft project to and then for the description we will just say this is a tutorial video on the viral kingdom now for the royalties recipient this is where all the payments from the royalties will be sent to so i'll just set it as my metamask wallet once again and we are ready to go to the next step so on the last page you'll be able to verify everything included within your contract and make sure that it's all correct then you can select deploy contract and this will be deployed on the rinkaby test network so you're not actually going to be using any real fees on your your account so you might get this eth question right here this isn't real eth by the way so i'm just going to hit confirm and bam contract has been deployed so we can go and view it on the block explorer now if you don't have enough rinkaby ethereum or you've just never gotten any before you can just type in rinkabyfaucet.com i'll have it linked down below and just copy your metamask wallet paste it in here hit send me eth and this will send you rinkaby eth directly to your wallet address so you can 
use the test network. Now, once you go back to your zero code dashboard, you will see the smart contract that you created and it will showcase stuff like how many have been minted, the balance, you can manage the contract as well and you can add the whitelisted wallets to the contract by opening up like a file or a notepad and just pasting that in. You can also choose to deploy it to the mainnet if everything went over well on the testnet. Bear in mind, if you're going to be deploying to the mainnet, you are going to be paying real Ethereum gas fees. You can also do some awesome stuff within the smart contract and update it. So if I wanted to set the pre-sale to start now, I could choose that. And then I'm going to have to pay it some Rinkaby test network fees. And then bam, the pre-sale has begun. You can also choose advanced and there's a lot of different options, but I wouldn't really go too in depth on that. So what you can do to link your OpenSea is by going to the OpenSea, we're still using the testnet. So make sure it's the testnet OpenSea, by the way, but this same process would carry over for the real OpenSea and we're going to create a collection very quickly. So I'm not going to really enter this information just because this is a tutorial and we'll hit create. Perfect. Our collection's been created. Now I'm going to go over to our zero code dashboard and then hit link open C and then paste that URL in and hit link. Already the next thing we can test out is by creating that actual minting button. So you can do this by hitting the three circles right here and hit minting button and then you're going Going to be asked for a title so we'll just call this wobbles nft and then the drop date so we'll set it to today in the drop time we will set it to 7 51 p.m sure and then you can hit create if you want to add a description you can do that at a later time so we'll set it to mint button and hit update then you'll see the timer is working everything's working fantastic and here is the code in which you're going to add to your website now i'm going to show you how to add it to a wordpress website so we're going to use the nft course one i'm going to go to the about page hit edit page and then i'm going to add a html ML option onto my website and I'm going to paste that code in that we got from the zero code website and I'm going to select update now if I go to the nft course or actually I'll view it in a incognito browser so you can see from the non developer side so we'll go to about and as you guys can see the minting button is now there and once six hours is up, there will be an option to mint an NFT. Now this will be on the test network. So do bear that in mind. If you are going to deploy on the Ethereum network, you are going to have to pay money for that. This gives you the general idea on how to do this and how easy it is. Now, if you do want to deploy this contract on the main net, zero code is going to require a purchase on their site. There's going to be a lot of new features within zero code, and I'm excited to see what happens within the future. Now, the other option that you could do is purchasing my NFT course where I go over over how to create your very own smart contract. Although this tutorial is a lot more complicated than the one I've just shown you today. However, it can be done by someone who has absolutely no coding experience. So definitely do go check out my course as I just uploaded that tutorial a couple days ago and it's already got some great feedback on it. So I'm very happy to hear from that. But yeah, guys, that concludes my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and peace. See you guys later thank you for watching the video and don't forget to remember thank you for watching the video and if you're a fan subscribe if you can Keep